The following feature is rated SM for spiritual maturity and is not intended for the immature who wishes to remain as such. The views expressed are not necessarily those of our sponsors as they sometimes could care less about what the host is saying but is more concerned about having their product on a popular show. Warning, small minds, listen at your own risk as this content is extremely overwhelming and may do further damage to those minds closed off to objective reality. Approach with an open mind as the heavy nature of the content will lick your chip. Your chip. Your chip. In the meantime, 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 in between time, time in the meantime, in the meantime, in between time, time. Yeah man, yeah man, yes, Purple Nation, yes, welcome back to In The Mean Time, yes, a brand new episode. Yeah man, episode 41, the one I name, Daddy Daycare, yes, Rasta, me, I tell you Rasta, so. And I want to apologize to the ones them, yeah man, for, for the error from the last episode, where one voice did a play over the other, that was an engineering error, yeah man. This topic I inspired, yes, it is inspired by a theme, yes, that is... Not so new to in the meantime, yeah man, cause of course, they are them know by now, say, one of the greatest issues, if not the greatest issue, with affect life on earth, is the spiritual immaturity, yeah man, with the system. Institutionalized, yeah man, means, say, uh, everything where them socialized with a belief, in you know, every aspect of life, lead way to make choice, we keep us as children forever, a permanently infantile state, you saying? Yeah, man. Children whose childish choices often lead to a lifetime of pain and, 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 and frustration. Not for only themselves, but for others. And of course, I you know, in the physical sense, yeah, the topic, yeah. Also inspired by the kind of situation where a man live a house with him, woman, and never know, say, a tailor shop, he believe. If I tell you, boy, it's rough. Anyway, more upon that, further down. Well, it's a sad state of affairs where I see now in, 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 in Jamaica. Well, not only in Jamaica, but the world, the, the entire world, Rasta, I tell you, say, the music business poison right now, Rasta, and a butter for life. But the reality is right now, Rasta, what is going on in a music is a reflection of what is going on in, in, in the culture itself, the culture where the music come from. But there is only one objective truth about everything in a, every area of life. So I don't have nothing new for say Rasta. Just pay attention again to everyone who are run out on a bonfire and a talk loud. But them is no different from many of the people them who them are lick out pan. Why is that? Because them are lick out pan things for the same reason. Why many of the people are do these things. And that is because... Through them socialization from birth to conform to Babylon agenda. And them don't know. Because everything where them believe program them to run down attention at all costs. So everyone end up and do everything, even the right things for the wrong reason. I can't say it enough. And that is simply so them can get to say to the system who is mommy now. Which the system as mommy. The, the, them just like the child where them is who and get to say, look mommy. I'm smart. I can figure out problems. I remember, you know, people who conform to the system is the system. You understand? And they make it run. They're a part of the system. So when we say system, is not just some people in a jacket and tie who are planned for, for, for double your light bill next month. But also those who them enslave. Those people who for beliefs help them make the system work. So, yeah. So, uh, but, but, hold on, yeah. my brother. Um... Yeah. How again? And the question, this question, is not from me, but um, it's coming from that student at the back who might not have um, yeah, yeah. heard on occasions where you use the analogy of parents to refer to governments. How and um, well, how uh, uh, do you see the analogy correlating to a government, though, my brother? As, as as the person in the back wants to know. Remember, it's not me. All right, we said this already, and I'm going to say it again. Repetition, so we learn. You understand? So, 
I'm going to say again, in essence, yeah, man, a group is really just a larger individual. Picture the group as just, as an individual, yeah, man, because the government again is an individual then who adapt the model of the relationship between the Oedipus mother, yeah, man, where them talk about in a psychology, as I mentioned already, yeah, man, whose identity is being the hero of them child, yeah, man, yeah, man. So, this unhealthy parental dynamic. Is what Western governance of them foundation in a yeah man and that it built on. In other words, consider the government as a woman then, yeah man, where we, yeah man, the populace, the masses is our children, you understand? Who should govern, yeah man. So this woman you now, yes, yeah, set we for the pen panar for everything. And for her identity is being our hero. So she stage everything for ensure or make sure. Then, yes, make sure so we spiritually and psychologically cripple so we can function for our own, aka grow up. Yeah, but but my brother, yeah, how, how, how does she benefit from that though? She benefit off our ignorance of the world, we should make we afraid of I just fear our opinion. Night we have, we don't have no experience it for ourselves. So we consider the simplest things as the, as the end of the world. Because she never allow if we face them yet. So we over anxious about everything. Because all we have is we imagination. We become overactive when, when we never experience a particular thing yet. We mind go crazy and try to figure out what it is, what, what that thing is. And because of the fear what we have. That thing are those things that we are trying to imagine normally become monsters. But we create with our imagination and think as so it go. Our ignorance is their control, you're saying, in essence, my brother. Yeah, man, the less we understand is the more power and control them have. You think it's a coincidence what you say? The US system then, make sure so you can't be stern or discipline your own fucking children. Those rules put in place in case you have some parents who might escape to growing up and realize Say a chaos, yes, the chaos of the system. Them use create slave. And that if you discipline your children and prepare them, yeah man, show them how to deal with it. Those children are escape the plantation and show other people how to do it. Confusion is the currency of Babylon. Who you think say me the average person after how much million blood clot years? Still believe, say, if somebody don't agree with them, that person is them enemy. But I don't see where the system forces anyone to see. Where are, hold where on, are? my brother. Hold on. To, 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 to see things their way. I, do, I don't. We have our own minds. And, 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 and that's what I believe. Fair enough. But tell me something. We hear the worst about Castro then, for example. <laughs> yeah, man. And, and, some, and people, some people form some very strong opinion. So tell me something. I feed them mind those very strong opinions come from, Bridget. And this don't say me support communism, you know. It's just to make a pint. And the same reason why most people will read a headline and start spread a story and don't read the fucking story. And the same thing make most people don't read a caption and run God in the comment section and embarrass them fucking self. And kill them dead, them know what they must say. Everything what them know is somebody else's opinion. They never form them own opinion yet. And them don't know. But what would be the government's motive for being so nefarious, my brother? I, I, I don't get it. I don't. Again, brethren, the government is not a, them is not alien in a brethren. Them are human being who connected to the same grid of consciousness and is no different from the average person. Them do everything what them do for the same reason the average person do it. And again, it is out of a need to be the most important. Both the rich and the poor, government and governed, are slave to the idea of what importance is. Them is no different from that mother who divide her own children to rule them by pointing out natural differences in each of them and make each feel like say boy them should have been like the one where mommy love. And by the time you look at jealousy and, and that a conflict and eventual destruction, they you know same thing they might do when they might tell big people who, with, with ear upon them front. Says toxic masculinity to look a girl. And then we have big woman who run go repeat that without even think. Boy, mommy says you're not supposed to do that. The world is one big daycare center, Bridget. I tell you that. Everything in our belief system is something we guarantee so we, so we don't grow up. Because those beliefs don't lead to clarity for anything. Because them too simple. 
So we unrealistically expect things to be a certain way. But don't realize that we leave out all of the details we tell the full truth about the reality of the thing. But we are expect to be a certain way. But don't realize that we are leave out all of the details we tell the full truth about this reality. Yeah. So what you believe everything what we believe are prepare with her. To be honest, I think I lost you at episode 3. It are prepare with a mental slavery. How so? Because the program for see everything superficial. So because the chain of the power and now we feel so we're free. But in reality we chain up because everything we, 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 we do benefit only them. Them program the, the average person through them media from them born for attracted to everyone and everything. We turn them, yeah man, I prepare them for become minimum wage workers in the future. Or I should I say in our future. With them program for ignore when them did young. So now if them are gonna know, if them are gonna escape the minimum wage job at Burger King, you know, when them suddenly end up in a, them have got either very disciplined or very willing to risk prison. Most people choose prison, which is a next place where them create for benefit of your choices. And you remember from way down in a spirit up. When me tell the I them say, even when you sell drugs or do anything illegal, them allow you to do it, them watch you how long, yeah man. For all a hundred years, yeah man, till you worth billions and then them come in, in the name of morality, and send you a prison in your stroller, with a few extra pampas. So when you check it deep at the system, every drugs man, every one, every man you sell drugs, or do nothing illegal at the system you work for. Because when them take away your money, at them control that. You do have a point. I've never thought about that, my brother. I have never thought about that. Yeah, man. Every beliefs what them program we have create a depression. We are going to always sure. Because what? We are going to always use the beliefs. We are cast the problem. Every problem we have to try and solve these problems. So guess what? We have to end up same place and beg them. For the solution where them always conveniently have for sale. And don't forget for one minute, say the entire justice system set up to exploit our irrational decisions. Where we program from birth, yeah man, by we believe, for make long before we make them. It's a game, brethren, and healthy people make healthy bank accounts. May I tell you that, and that helped me at all. So if the average person for become sensible, the system hungry. But why again do they do that, my brother? I just I, I find it hard to believe. Because again, brethren, them profit off of chaos, not organization. Problem, not solution. Which again is the same reason why them do make the rule. We say, humans must lick humans or expect to get back lick. Because what now? The problem would have solved. The problem I got solved. And a problem they make money off of. Not solution. I can't say it enough. I'm trying to believe this over the course of the time that you've been saying it, but do you believe that? Yeah, man. Problems can't solve because everyone trained for pint it out. But not for solve it. Because that requires patience. And we cannot be patient in our, in our competition. What we're addicted to. Really? Yeah, man. Common sense tell everyone so if, it's, so if it truly solve a problem, any problem you can think of, it require so we become what was taught to us to be. Uh, yeah, we, we, them, we them tell we say is to become weak or insignificant and ultimately irrelevant. So once again, me I tell you this: the Bali, the Rasta, the Christian, and almost everyone see the problem with with whatever in the news right now. And as usual, it's a next round of talking and pint out and then it is back to normal till something else come up next week for them talk about and go read comments for see if the people them are call them brave and smart and genius. So most of them don't mean it, you're saying? Yeah, man, them don't mean nothing where them are say them just can't make a next person out brave them, you mad. Hey, watch a man, let me repeat again, you know. The same thing where your ego tell us you are steal news because it, it, it don't want you to learn. You understand? Majority of, let me say it again. Majority of people, both secular and religious, is motivated by the same ego. Almost nobody no mean nothing with them I say when them I say it. 
Because what now? Them actually don't understand. Me, me can't say it enough. Them don't understand the spiritual mechanics or function of what them must say them believe. In a way where them can explain it to anyone or even themselves and, and understand it. So again, them cannot truly choose or genuinely believe in a way them don't understand. So them end up just want to hear them own voice and know say boy. Them a please the audience and that's it. Only few people have the guts or courage to move towards the, the, the irrelevance where it will take to fix the problems. May I tell you that? Expecting moral uprightness in a system with the ego. I mean, I say devil bill. It's like you ask the devil, yeah, man. Like, like the devil make a house then. <laughs> yes. The devil make a house. I yeah, try to tell him not to be himself in his own house. And then why do you say that? Because the whole system built to support anything that is unnatural and superficial. We are go against objective nature and truth. A whole lot of mental issues seem to be taking hold of, of, of people in, in every facet of society, my brother. I feel discouraged sometimes. I, 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 and that's the truth. And I want to say what you are saying not even correct. Because every issue is a mental issue. Me I tell you, Rasta. Because everything starting at the mind first. I better you say mental illness. You eat to have to go over the whole, the, whole, the whole structure of the system set to enslave the average person. But boy, I feel it necessary tonight because guess what now? The, most people who, who not choose change but just love agree with information need to hear this yeah, man, again and again. So they can learn and truly solve all of the problems that they have. Because again, I don't want a man to take this thing yeah, for only entertainment. No more than ever them need to be reminded why the solutions to problems in a Babylon are the biggest parts of the problems. This approach of using problems to solve problems again keep you in a kind of anxiety, frustration and depression will make you mentally sick and see everything in reverse. And think it straightforward. The mentally ill, you saying? Yeah, man. Sick and actually do and get well while seeing others who sin. And I call them mad. When them who I call people mad actually believe in our system. What them call civilized when it comes to, for example, healthcare. Yet them are dropped down and dead in them thirties. While what? What's that? Missy madman will live on the road and nature take care of him till him dead at 97 year old. Yeah man, a brother named Madman Loki. But we used to tease and run for him on the smaller. Really? He lived that long, my brother? Yeah man, you know, you may ask how long if you ever go to hospital, go book up in a madman yet. And nobody can answer. The average person in a Babylon. Mad. And I say people who live objective truth and conform to nature is mad. I mean, I say some chip no leak and two wire groans and, 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 yeah, somewhere there and some people mind drive out and crash right after them pay the toll upon the left there so before them reach a watch, you know. But the sad part is that for a one who never live natural, the unnatural is going to be the natural choice because them don't know nothing else. The mental illness of the average person in a Babylon have always lost. Because most people don't want to hear say them is part of a factory. We produce idiot for a living. And that the idiot is them. Enough dead and gone in a ignorance. Me I tell you that. And a, that, that sad boy. That rough. And enough more now go live for change. Because no matter what them no agree with. Yes. No matter what them know. And agree with. Them still are going to fight for be the idiot. What them don't know say them is. Because them addicted to them programming. Anyway, I want to say right now at this point, I want to say happy birthday. Yes, happy you know me talk already. Happy birthday. I should have said, boy, belated birthday then. Yes, to Squaddy. Yes, whose birthday was on November 13th. And it come from, yes, yeah, it, it a come from your boo-boo, Peter Gay. Yes, she said, when you hear it, you're going to know who. So, she say, yeah, man, he's a very big fan of in the meantime and that. She knew it would mean a lot to the eye for hear it, yeah, man. And she did get to me in time. Yes, mommy said that, but we clarify that. She get to me in time. However, the placing, yeah, man, of the episode, yes, was not exactly near that date. But I hope the eye did full joy, yes, man. Yeah, man, I hope you did full joy, my brother. So, and I hope, yes, the biggest gift you get 
that yes and that date is for realize said the woman them yeah man we are gonna go out of them way in these times yeah man for put a smile upon your face as a man is in is in is in short supply rasta yes so hold on for that one your squad i tell you that rasta yes and also yes i want to say big shout out to all who support the merchandise yeah man in the link below and all of my patrons, yes, and the channel members, big up the item self, yeah, man, because at the item, yeah, man, commitment, just as much as mine, make this thing a work. You understand? Yes. This would not be possible without the item, yes. Big up each and every one of the item, yeah, man, who buy my book, Planet Earth, Rasta, yes. And for those who can support based on whatever reason, yeah, man, yeah, man. Based on whatever the issue, yes. Just go and like, share, and subscribe. That no cost a cent. 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 In the meantime. In the meantime and between time, what is coming is coming. As usual, this section of the program is brought to you by Vicebox Studios, the voice of a nation. And Madvert Multimedia, if it's not Madvert, it's not an advert. And also brought to you by Bunks About, yes, Kids Party Rentals. It's at Bunks About for the finest in all things related to kids parties, fun days and other events. So yeah man, when you look for that special touch there, don't just Bunks go all about. Bunks about, yes, the number to call is 876-404-1714 and customize an experience for your child or patrons in general at a special event that they will never forget. Yes, so, remember again, you know, if you didn't know near Stone Mountain on a Friday night, yes, check Dumpling House. Every Friday night, them have a thing where, yeah, man, you yeah, man, I tell you. Yes, if you miss the original yard style of cooking and them thing, the man, remember for go round the Rasta, yes, because what how be I tell you, them have the greatest yard style cuisine, yes, the item can call. 470-844-9393. Anytime at all for place the item order, and as usual at the point, I know me make a quick disclaimer, so I will not be held responsible for the mental decline of anyone who go dumpling house, go taste the cuisine there and just mad <laughs> rasta, I tell you so. You can't say me never tell you, yeah man. Eat at your own risk. <laughs> yes, I tell you that rasta, yeah. So, yes, my book Planet Earth is also available at dumpling house, yeah man, and... As usual, this section is also brought to you by Renaissance Immigration Services. Them deal with all things immigration in Canada. Just call Renaissance at what? 437 703 1147 to eat. Yes, and the consultation, as usual, never make no noise. Absolutely free, Rasta. So don't bother if you say, Boy, I'm not going to call this and that and it don't cost. No, man, it's free. So. I met the one them know now who hear about Renaissance and say them need a service like this in America. Them, them do something kind of out of the way or out of sync with the law when it comes to immigration. Don't worry, man. Yes. There is Lewis Law Professional Association. And like me always say, all when the whole graveyard of immigration crosses and run your down, Rasta, and it seems like there is no way out, man. Them can put a stop to this thing, yeah, Rasta. All cross is gone, yeah. Because them deal with things like visa, citizenship. Removal of conditions, yeah man, them no response with shampoo and say Yes, them no afraid. Yeah man, them deal with waivers and all matters related to immigration in America. Call now 954-530-1717 for access. Immigration. Heaven. 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 In the meantime. All right, all right, yeah, man, watch out now, yeah, yeah. So, the comment of the day is coming from channel member Simon, the high man, <laughs> yeah, tell you, all right. Simon, I say, yeah, man, bless Vice Box, yes, Planet Earth is indeed the greatest book ever written, yeah, man, but I'll be honest, I had to read it over three times and look up a few words before the entire world opened up to me. I was shocked. To see the power that was hiding behind words and phrases that I didn't understand. I am shaking as I write this. As I was a miserable person before this podcast and your book. And now I am having a hard time being bothered by anything. Your book made me see how wrong I was about some people I found some strong opinions of. 
I am in such a place of confidence and trust in objective truth that I went back and I apologized to each and every one of them. I have never been so happy. I just want to say, thank life for Zion. And of course, I want your views on the old Leela I.K. Jada Kingdom coming out thing because it's like the gays are taking over reggae and dance hall. Alright, give thanks Simon. Yeah man, I yeah, tell you, yeah man. I truly appreciate the support, yeah man. But even more, I appreciate that my intent to change lives yeah, through Zion is, is happening, yeah man. So, that is always a touching thing, yeah man. I tell you, if you see this. Yeah, yeah. If you see that in action, I tell you, bridge. I have no words to explain. Alright, now Simon, I just want to say big up the eye self, Rasta. Yeah man, if you find the courage, because I know it takes a lot of courage. For face and accept the kind of truth to help you find your true state. And you're exactly right. Thank life for Zion. Because my experience of his loss is the eye them gain. So anyone right now we are listening to this that has ever been impacted by my work through Zion. Type in Zion. And I want to tell you say, now that planet earth volume 1 give you the kind of clarity to interpret reality properly. Then planet earth volume 2 the courage to offend. I'm going to take you to a whole new dimension because the courage to offend is love in its true definition. And most of we don't know how to do that. So volume 2 coming real soon. Look out for that. And the whole Leela I.K. Jada Kingdom issue, you know. All right. Anyone who know me, yeah, man, who, who, who know me stand for already, me hold firm to my morality, you understand? And, and will always defend objective truth. Yeah, man. I know you not nothing with, with, with anything we contradict natural law. Yeah, man, me I tell you that. And my stance is non-negotiable. Just me I put that out there from now. You understand? But watch a man. This thing here is not A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, like what most people think it is, you know. It's not? No, man. A whole heap of... Uh, hey, Bridget. There is a whole lot of things that go on we, 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 we come, when it comes to this mental these mental issues where i believe yeah man lead to most of these cross trading kinds of behavior not only in jamaica but the world in general yeah man and some yeah, some spiritual and some psychological yeah man and, and and some is both you understand especially when any type of abuse involved yeah man but that is a long story yeah man but keep it in mind yeah because i'm going to touch it for the next episode i'm going to go into this abuse thing about the whole of this, them take over reggae thing, not as simple as, as most of we would have liked think it is. But remember, I always say, nobody can do nothing where, where, where you don't allow them to do. Well, this case is no different. But how, how, how is it not different though, my brother? How, how is it oh, yeah. not different? Well, oh, but that, oh, yeah. how is it not different? It's not different because we carry reggae. Go get them. It's we never know the value of what we have. I don't take them, take it over. It's a parish, a handover. Has a hand, we hand it over. Really? You believe that? Yeah, man, we sell out with culture because we never know the value of it. Everyone get up now, ready for pine finger. And I say, look where them do reggae. When the real question is, what reggae do with reggae? What do you mean? All right. I'm going to make it easier. Yeah, I'm going to explain in an easier way for you to understand before we get tonight. All right. Like me always say, every group make up out of people whose majority is of like mind, means so people who think the same. And even those who think different is a part of the group. Them is just the minority. But regardless of what them think or how them feel, is the majority determining the direction of the group. Now consider a group where only the minority represent the objective truth. And the majority is the spiritually ignorant who, just like most people, I heard, I know, is fighting to make lies true. Now consider that group as just a larger individual, like a person then. And consider the people them in it, both majority and minority, as the feelings or beliefs of, of this individual or person then, yeah. Now consider reggae or even dance are like any average individual who talented and full of potential but eat and reject the discipline where it takes to organize them life and choose the chaos of keeping up appearances rather than practicing 
where it really take for be truly powerful. All the while ignoring the small but truthful part of themselves. We are telling themselves to put in the work and stop look for the easy way out. Imagine them ignore that part of them and now them are play victim when at them cause the whole of them problem. Many of the so-called defenders of uprightness are gatekeepers. Sit down and make them take it over for three main things. Firstly, the money and the freaky long tongue brown in them from uptown. Who enough of them know say these women as, as a slave master, descendants, who have way different outlook for morality than them. Really? Oh, you mean a long time most of them corrupt? Them have them satellite dish a program them dirty lifestyle long before anybody at all from the ghetto knows the tongue could have gone in a body. But guess what? Them just want them ghetto friend to see them. Yeah, man, with the brown and after them. Make it! Because most of them still slave to the idea of light skin superiority. And them don't know so you can't even cuss them. Most of them are cuss up town every day. But the truth is... Most people mostly cost things when them can't have it. But give them the same things when them are cost, no? You're saying they would be glad for it, my brother? Yeah, man. The average person costs everything as a coping mechanism. But give them it, I see. Secondly, now, there, there was and still is no unity among self as artists. Or even as a people. Why? Because of capitalism and the excess competition where it root in a... Forget, hey, brethren, forget where you hear about Willie Lynch, you know. The capitalist structure itself will determine success. Build and divide and rule long before Willie Lynch. The reason why man enslaved man was for money. Yes, the money will determine the power and importance. But him hear from him bonds and make him valid. The capitalist system promote power as one being above or having control of the other. And that to be special and important, you have to win a rat race where it take place on a treadmill. So unity is a concept where we think we understand but will almost never truly achieve. Because everything where we believe lead right back to the race, to a non-existent top. A top that do exist. Alright, I'm going to continue this topic here, yeah man, after the song and the break. So, stay tuned. Stay tuned. In the meantime... Truth and reality and a dream time. Curly locks. In the meantime, listen to theme time. Go and go tell them, say your rats are on the world. A curly locks are on the world. Six the king has a purple near your show. When we say purple, you mean that? Self responsibility is a concept where most people eat. No matter how you hear them, I recite it. Yeah, man, them not understand what they say. Because them other people in them art. People who even when them realize that them did misunderstand, them use pride and can face them error in judgment and still won't keep those opinions where them did make in a ignorance because them can't accept that them did wrong. Where there's an individual named Reggae who won't believe them clean while ignoring them own flaws and point finger upon others are just the average person. Me, Ness, yeah man. Make everyone always feel that them right. And them never hurt a soul. But if everybody are think the same thing, I will really a one as well. So this song you know is a song, yeah man, from one of the people them who are listening and find the courage, yeah man, for put this message where in the meantime I spread to song, you understand? Because what? Like me always say, yeah man, it's not change many people don't want change. It's understand them not understand why them should. Many people always reach out and say, boy, this is what in the meantime do for them. It give them a roadmap to understanding the problem. It don't just point them out for say, look, mommy, I'm smart. All right. This is what it's coming from. Afronella. I want to name Gil. Here goes. Some I met a lot of people, seen a lot of ways Some of them were evil, some were nice with dirty ways Tell me all who hurt them, leave them and desert them And all the time of them did have the good friends 
gone just when you tell me you deserve a trophy Oh, you want so perfect, you heard people just no pony People be pretending, wolf in a sheep clothing The earth in can't but just a get boring So if everybody's hurting But everybody has to be clean Who's been hurting everyone? Yeah, man, if you know, say this is Leela I can't write and now you're listening to In the Meantime with Curly Locks, the voice box. Check it. I spy, I spy that you see something you might like. Some of met a lot of people, seen a lot of ways. Some of them were evil, some were nice with dirty ways. Tell me all who hurt them, leave them and desert them. And all the time of them did have the good friends. So just when you tell me you deserve a trophy, oh, you want so perfect, you heard people just no pony. People be pretending, wolf in a sheep clothing. The earth in can't but just a get boring. So if everybody's hurting, but everybody has to be clean. Who's been hurting everyone? Hurting everyone. And if everybody mind clean, but friends' secrets still a leak. Who's been hurting everyone? Hurting everyone. Enough of them a sing to enough song Your heart must see a burn your car, you fuck your sister man But light a in a party, or you teeth your friend one Me can't understand, then you walk around a cry wolf man Tell people say you fuck up to Wear your shirt on wrong side Say your heart cleaner than a river nile But me know what say you like Accept your wrongs and move on Most of on the earth a calm a man Yes, that was Afronella. Yes, man. Afronella was for the great thing. Yes. yes, that one and him guilt. Yes, and it don't come out yet. It's going to be released on December 6th and it's going to be available on all reputable online platforms. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right, get my book, Planet Earth, yeah, man. You don't know by now it is available on what? Amazon.com, yes, and PlanetEarthBook.com, yeah, man. And it's coming all farm, so you know me not have to tell you that again, yeah, man. You can get the audio book, Rasta, yeah, man, for audible iTunes and just about, yeah, anyway, audio book sale. It is also available locally in a JA Deals, yes. I tell you, Kansan Spring Road, located right across from the transport center in I Plaza where mother's dead, there's some man, yeah, man. So, Yes, check out them website, yes, jadeals.com, yeah man, for them, the rest of locations where them have it too and them thing there, and JA Deals, yeah man, me I remind you, no, ship internationally to the Caribbean, etc, so, if you all are the ones them in a some hard to reach place, yeah man, JA Deals can make it reach the item rasta, yes, so, no worry about nothing, them have no covered, another central location where the book located, is Appliance TV Depot in a Premier Plaza. Constant Spring Road. Yeah, man. So the book is also available, yes. Upstairs, Island Grill. Yeah, man. In a Twin Gates Plaza, a place named Cellular Repairs. It is also available in a selected locations of Kingston Bookshop and Tash Chemicals, Westmoreland. Yeah, man. You can call her at 876-354-7543. And talking about book, yeah, man. Yeah, man. I want to remind the items. So the item can look out for the 
re-release of my first book, The Road to Zion, yeah man, yeah man. So you know the revised version, only more additions and yes, so look out for your release date coming up very soon. Very soon. Very soon. In the meantime. Yes, I up top boss. In the meantime, up top, I'm represent for Curly Locks, the voice box. You understand? This next section of In the Meantime is brought to you by Renaissance Immigration Services. Yeah, man, you know by now, so them deal with all things immigration in Canada. Yeah, man, them can fix the visa where you overstay because you're frightened and run off. I know people that take advantage of you in every way, shape and form, yeah man. And you have to work less, yeah man, you have to work for less, yes, for less. That way you work. And you feel there is no way out. Renaissance believes as long as there was a way into your immigration problem, there is always some way out. Just call them 437-703-1147. To eat, the consultation is absolutely free. Free. So you're saying that, um, my brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. In, in essence, that um, they don't really have a problem with the things they, they complain about. And that their complaints are um, mainly based in their insecurities. Yeah, man, them cost the upper class night and day. But when enough of them man here, we are cost. See, freaky browning from Narbrook, them weak. Because from slavery, we have that yearning for friend the people who abuse with the most. Because in the abusive relationship between slave and master, we feel say if, if we're able to make peace with them, then the abuse will stop. And there was never any kind of treatment for that Stockholm syndrome, like what them call it in a psychology, where, where the slaves did suffer from. So that mindset become a part of a very culture and belief system itself. And it helped with farm opinions of the world. And it passed down through the generations after slavery. And we consider these unhealthy insecurities as normal. Deeper than meets the eye, you're saying, my brother. Yeah, Virgin, this thing deep. Me, I tell you, we only see everything over simple and superficial. And have no clue of the spiritual war. We are play out beyond the naked eye. This I want to reggae and even dance all. They are cost society people every day. And think of any one of these people who always do the cussing and see if somewhere along the line them don't go back on them word at some point, which is okay. But instead of own these actions, them justify them. And that is what make them a hypocrite. Hey, you think I just gaze them, them, them a cuss? And everything and everyone is dance all and reggae problem. Tell the gays no flatter themselves because they're no special. Really? What, what you're getting at? Dance all and reggae fight against them own more than anybody else, may I tell you that. Really? What do you mean really? When we just are forward in, 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 in this game, may I tell you. Me, this is some of the most morally inclined and upright, pious people in every sector of this industry. From artist to producer to reducer, you name it. I say my thing a fuckery. Them take one look for our face, our image. I say dance hall of a sofa around people we go through things. I know dance hall now have no space for no gimmicks and social commentary and morality. And we more than half our attack. No go through half our we go through. Coming up in a grand spin, Waterhouse and Chisholm Avenue. I'm a promise you, so they made a jump off of somewhere. If me could have it buy ugly in a shop and could have go in a, in a, in a, in a shop in a somewhere, go say. Give me the ninja man mixed with a little bit of elephant with a side of yellow man face without the jawbone. The history of my career would have gone much different. A kick, we did have to kick off the door to that business, yeah. They never invite me in this. So just like any other outcast, we did have to live on the, the, the fringes of society. I take what we can get. For morality sake, every single one of these commercially successful artists cannot do that without corporate endorsement. Unless them spend the money to do that themselves. And corporate is where the gay community have them power base. At least in a most corporate entities. So when you get them approval, that means you support them agenda. And no one know that. A cost corporate. When most are to sell out on the morals and realize the money can make on the 21 again. But me forgive you a long time for every fault when you try fine with my thing. And I say dance all like a water down if you don't let it in. And up to now, you know, truly accept it. I'm a forgive you. Know. 
Because I know say all of them talking there, they excuse for the real truth. Because guess what? I could have listened to the story. We tell itself without words. That was one of my major talent. Me did know say I'm a clown on no take over. He's a competitor. I do not even know say. Me take that as a, as a compliment. And that's why I'm still there stand up on my foot. I go no healthy living account on the street. The stone that the builder refused, you say? Yeah, man, Mr. People in the music, who did supposed to look out for me, you know? Do everything in them power for everyone else. Who no do half of what me do for them. Bentry, I see them energy upon every level. Because them do what them do. For the same reason as the girl who run down a man who she want to impress. And ignore those who want to impress her. Because she intimidated by those. Not because they're a fool. But because she feels that she has too smart to keep up with them. Who you think the slave did see as the winner and a role model of the perfect thing for be? It not change, brethren, who you think. We from the ghetto, who are the creators of the music, did see as, as the winners and I go subconsciously view as people for be like. I don't know, you have to say. The slave master, brethren. The corporate slave master will lose after them lifestyle and start experiment. With it, them never want to see no garrison friend. I be uptown freak where I give them freak, them start power with. Till Mr. Rasta of all three girls in a room. Really? Yeah, man, Pantour. And Cartel say all type of immorality and no outcry. So the whole of the fire people, them and the fire burners, sit down and watch this immorality grow because them afraid to not be liked by the people them love Cartel. Them chatting behind him back because they're not brave enough to be irrelevant. Because money and browning and pussy sweet at that kill Rasta out of reggae and moral guidance out of dancehall. Not Leela Aiki and Jada Kingdom. Them is just a mirror where reggae and dancehall are looking at now and don't like what them see. And as usual, one broke the mirror. The gatekeepers of the music became like parents who left the raising of, of, of them children to teachers, nannies and iPad. Because it take being disciplined for disciplined children. And most are we too, too, too fucking lazy to focus and do that. Are too busy having to, to be off getting the bag. We are gonna make we look good to others. So much that all sometimes some of, some of them forgot all them pick me at school. Forgot to pick them up and make all some pervert teacher or somebody on the compound sexually assault them. Because we selfish no blood clot and can't settle down because we are compete. No for we are compete with all the very spouts. But if you work with are the same role we play in a music just like these parents who feel them children. While most of the gatekeepers did half and get likes. Them left the children without guidance. And the pervert them sneak in and corrupt them. And we who come before these younger people in every situation and every level of society feel them. But my brother. Yeah. Why didn't the original pioneers of reggae organize uh, reggae themselves instead of selling it out? I don't get it. Because, brethren, all we did have was the talent. But, but, but we never have the understanding or the mindset to manage, organize and control it. So we could have set up our own corporations amongst ourselves. Because them same one who run the system with a part of the system socialize we. If we eat the education, we could have make we compete with them. So no matter where we could have sing, say, we never understand the business. So we end up giving them a culture and I beg them to have our best interests at heart. And no, we don't have no real power for determine who does what. At them have that. That's so true. Yeah, man. We hand over with culture to corporate society. And corporate do what corporate do. Which is to market and distribute ideas and sideline processes and destroy people morally so them can gain financially. And you know why them can get away with it? Because the truth is we never really understand the morality where we claim to represent. We never live that lifestyle. We only believe the information and think we are living it. Just ideas, you say. I just, yeah, man, not just ideas we have. Yeah, man, just like our man talk tough about the prison where he never go yet. And you really believe that? Most of we love the idea so we can wall out. But when the process come, I want long beard man in our gown and our sandals coming right up. What you mean? Again, bridging the story no new, no matter where, eh? No matter what Peter wanna say, no. He never ready for dead for Jesus. 
Because Peter at that time never chose Christ, him only select him. He did love the hype and the idea, same is part of something great. But when push come to shove, a him that a quote a pint out Jesus. And I say, hey boy, Jesus, tell them, see, I know me. You better tell them, see, you turn the people them good, good water in a wine. Dolly fucking house, brethren, dirty pot. Most people don't understand the very music where them claim to represent. So them now go choose it, them ungla go select it. Just like how when you don't choose a spouse and just select them. The relationship doom when pressure come. I eat this, brethren, I eat this arm to music. We fall apart because when faced with the money, we, we, we believe all that it says power. It's easy for Lego a set of morals where we never have in the first place and don't know. And that is the real problem. Most of we not who we think we is. All we have is good intentions, but we're too busy to compete with one another to really put these good intentions into action. Actions speak louder than words, you say? Yeah man, Muslim have the same settings right now from Mohammed get the dream from Gabriel in a 609. When you see pork start eat yet? Same settings. Because some people who come before those who did they know did serious. So we are the ones who are failing the younger generation, you're saying, my brother, in, in music and otherwise. Yeah man! See it again, alright. The third thing, yeah man, let me see a three things. The third thing is that. We don't understand anything. I can't say that enough. You understand? We, we don't understand nothing where we are fight for. In a way where we can explain it to ourselves and understand it. Because we trained by where we believe to be survival. We have no time to go into the true common sense details of anything. So we just grow, come say and do it. Others say and do. We can't stay or, or, or truly loyal to anything we don't understand. It's impossible. So you don't think we understand what we're representing? Understand what? No reggae everybody are defend. See Ernest Wilson dead there. And him family have to take up collection for bury him. Me not see no real public support for Tiger. Who do so much for music. And need support but that. Yeah man that no need no loud talking. Because most are we not genuinely sympathetic. Most are we have this. If it, it, it no important to we. If it no important to others. Type of approach to everything. Watch a man, the long and short of this thing here is. If we ourselves is not the beacon of light where we are demand from others, we can't inspire change in those who we want for change. And why is that? How them are going to become something where them only see we practice occasionally when we have a convenient fire for burn? Watch a man. Condemnation. Yeah man, you have to condemn fuckery, no brethren. But you must, it, it, condemnation must also come with compassion and a humble invitation to change if it is we feel say them last but again most people don't want people change rasta all them want is to be rated as serious yeah man so so, so when people even try for change them find something else to complain about because what being smart enough to find the problem is them identity so them cannot really allow these people for, for change rasta it's rough is this childish behavior we actually trap many people in the same problems where we condemn them for? So you're saying that Leela, IK and, and, and Jada are, are not wrong for coming out, my brother? I will say and reiterate that I don't support anything where go against or contradict objective nature or natural laws. However, their lifestyle is their choice, not mine or anyone else's. I am not against nobody, overall humanity. And right for choose them destiny. But you know my dear one and them. Pick a side and stay on it. Be the coach or play on it. You don't get it both ways. You have to choose one. And according to where me hear you know. You have to also bear in mind. Yeah man said so these are abused women allegedly. So they need more help than condemnation. Because there's a whole lot of mental issues will lead to these type of behaviors. It's not as cut and dry and black and white as most people think. So I personally wish these ladies the best. Uprightness should have be a reflection of life where we live, not the words where we say. I want to imagine Rasta, yeah man, as, as the soul of the, the, the individual named Reggae. Let me tell you something, that soul have, have been stamped out of Reggae. Long time. And I've long since gone back on the ground where it come from. If you look for the Rasta, you have to go Nyabingi, 12 Tribe, and Bobo Hill. 
And even them sometimes chop up one another over who get more veggie chunks. But at least them a follow order and have some semblance of organization and live in service to nature. What you see no one think is reggae is a corporately created imposter, a clone, an image of what was. And that we have based our expectation of reggae pan. The reputation of its glorious past when struggle used to influence the music. Genuine struggle. With they are caught up in a flaws and nasty the divine order behind all things. I believe music and many other gifts come from a divine place in a human consciousness that cannot be defiled by this lower dimension or frequency where the average person lives in. A. And I get carried away into immorality and all kind of spirit killing vices. And the word of the day is vice. Yeah man, it's spelled V-I-C-E. It means a weakness of character or behavior or bad habit. Yeah. I believe when certain people get certain gifts or talents, it is God or the objective truth saying to the devil or the excess ego then who turned the earth into its domain by at some point trapping mankind in a them lower frequency or state of existence. Say, so watch a man. You know, I have no power. I can use the worst of, of my people where you recreated at your likeness or dirty ways to deliver my message and you can't do a fuck about that. Because I am the I am. Me will use your worst servant to deliver my message. It is why I believe R. Kelly, a man with none of the accolades or titles where the devil society used for deem someone worthy of brilliance. And yet him write some of the greatest music the world ever see. And him can't spell the word R, much less Kelly. And no matter what them say him do, you cannot turn that reality into a lie. That's so true. Yeah man, how much people you see with some serious moral vices or mental flaws. How much of them you see deliver some of the most influential works this world ever see. From R. Kelly, Michael Jackson, Plato, Elton John, James Baldwin, etc. A people do music, brethren, not alien. Every day me see more and more say. Most of who loves a boy who nobody is perfect. Them don't believe it. Not even most of the people with the gift. Don't really understand that place where that gift come from in a bridging. Every last one that we have a flaw or a vice is only that some worse than some pan pan the spectrum of flaws. Do you we are listening to this right now? You know most artists are public figure where you love. You know most of them personally? No. So the truth is the artist music has never been about them. It is about you. Because you don't know them. The architect of them talent use them as a vessel for shine a light in a your life. And you're drawn to it because you can relate. And don't get me wrong, you know, the rulers of darkness imitate the same energy. I inspire many people to create music we can deceive mankind and lead them astray. So them can cover up and sideline objective truth. So, you really feel that uh, music, especially music about objective truth... Is higher than man, my brother? Yeah, man. Then Bob Marley not dead from 1981 and, and, and one of the biggest artists in the world. Then if the force were inspired in music never higher than him, then him know that for there. Music, movies, or whatever form, these divine instructions come in. Is way bigger than the messenger where divine order used to communicate that message to you. But most people stop at the messenger because we feel it's at them. When it way higher than them, them themselves can't fucking explain it. It's too vast. I mean, I say a man or a woman, no, we live where them are preaching, no, brethren. That is always recommended. But don't get caught up on who real and who fake. Because in a world where everything look alike, you almost can't know. Don't stress that because the Bible say, He who know the right and do it not shall be spanked with many stripes. And when God a beat all kunta kinte, we think him no beaten sorry for you. That's so true. Yeah, man. No one can escape them judgment. You know, worry about them. Worry about yourself. That is why I say over the years. Don't focus upon the intention of the messenger, but focus upon the message. As long as a people you deal with, brethren, look out for flaws. Dalios, most of these people are play, brethren. 
Simply because them just program for tear down it. We tear, we program for tear down one another. For please the same system where we think we are fight against. All of them prejudices that we have and all these little imaginary wars where we are fight is just for distract we from realize. Say it's one human race. For distract we from put all our energy into reconnecting with nature and find the true state of consciousness. And become totally unbothered and dear for not in need of none of the things we have to pay for to fix with broken minds. We don't mean it when we have all these little lines that we draw, my brother. If we truly mean these prejudices, yeah, man, where we are holding on, for example, now, if we care, say, people black, people white, people are Chinese, Hispanic, people are man, people are woman, gay, transgender, whatever the whole for alphabetic fuck. If we truly believe these things, then a perspective couldn't shift under the threat of a life sentence or an asteroid or some kind of deadly disease we are going to destroy the earth. When we find ourselves in a vehicle, we are carry people to safety. We're not going to ask the driver if I'm a body boy or if I'm white or if I'm black, etc. You're not even going to ask him or she if they know them ago. That's true. None of these prejudices no really real brethren. I tell you a million times that them come from the minds of adult children fighting one another for mummy attention in times of relative ease and comfort but recognize we come on humanity in times of trouble. Me I tell you that. Just like the phone with your internet is the biggest reason for the social, spiritual and moral decline of the masses and no 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 we are talking now fling it away. Why is that? Because they you know, overlook the negative impact of it and use it for its positive purpose. Well, humans are the same thing, brethren, like the internet. They have the darkness, but, but if you focus upon the light, it overcomes the darkness. Sometimes you not even remember say nothing bad upon the internet because I click on only when I want to click on. The same way you can focus upon the positive use of the phone, and the same way you can focus upon the positive side of humans with flaws. And watch, I mean, I have to tell them that, you know, because them be not do it. Me not even remember, look at you now. You know, see, all of them, it's up on Batman program. Yeah, man, regular. And glad to see which album is coming next with broad smile upon them face. Them have the ability to compartmentalize when it's convenient. I don't say people in a reggae cannot realize the error of them past choices, but publicly acknowledge them first, brethren. You know, get for up brand new people who want to do that. Don't change them, just a mask or a cover up. These problems will never go nowhere until we own them. Like you always say, both sides of the conflict are playing by um, from the same rule book. Written by an excess ego that makes them forever childish. Yeah man, it influenced both the man we are point out the wrongs and the one who feel them have all of the rights. So you think that's why no one in any kind of conflict is uh, never willing to back down? Yeah man, a immature person, no matter which form them take, whether gay or straight, or man or woman, none of them no different from one another. But as usual, one person or group will find all that is wrong with the world in a next person or group. So them get to win the prize of most superior and deserving of relevance, because of perfection, both at both sides of the conflict, trained for believing her. Them see any kind of instruction from almost anybody as a desire for control them or tell them what to do. So no matter how what you are telling them is right or true, the more you tell them not to do a thing or be a certain way is the more them do it. Them interpret everything as a challenge to them existence. Again, this is because them unsure and therefore insecure about everything. And that is even true for gays or anyone who live contrary to natural law. And can't do know say them a live a lie. So them have to find a way to stop here or see the truth. So automatically them have to use force. If, if, if them know say them a do something, we cannot be done, which is to make a lie true. You think they, do, they, they know though, my brother? Yes, brethren. Every insecure person in every situation no objective truth. I think them want you think say them no know. To keep you who know caught up. You're not, you're not trying to convince them. So you can forget about what you need to do. Again, it is no different from the baby mother who take with the picnic where she don't want. Just because she wants to stress out the man for him lose focus. So him can end up depressed and don't get a better life without her. The idea of happiness to a immature person is to make others miserable. So them can comfortable stand on them alone. A distract 
these alphabet people are, 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 are trying this track with from our spiritual growth for focus on them constantly and get caught up in our game name did too did not like some tree grader I said this in our last episode in relation to the transgender community we are forced Dave Chappelle to believe what them believe and I go and say it now again because I see him think for straight people too it don't change for no individual or no group if it is that you really believe something and you feel say you have to force somebody to believe what you say you believe then you don't believe it all me I go do is talk the truth I don't upset with a soul I don't have to raise my pressure and bust my neck string to control or keep people in line. I don't have to tell no homosexual same lifestyle out of sync with the objective rules of sexual design. For him know say man can breed and woman can breed a pussy clot. He know that every morning when he wake up and realize he's a shit out of him pussy. And nothing can go so. This demonic system you want everyone to see only the surface of everything. So we can go and fight like children to make reality confirm to how we, according to the ego, and see it. As long as we caught up in a these petty conflicts in, a, in a every level of our life, I try to prove who own truth. Then the system have we right where them want we, being children who too busy to find them true spiritually mature state of consciousness. We can free them from the corporate plantation. We have to start practice. The lifestyle we can make we live without the same system where we are, where we are condemn or everything where we are talk are those words meant to entertain or impress. Just dally house. No real commitment to morality. Just look mommy look. See daddy see. I mean I tell some man in a reggae you now. Practice when you preach. Our Babylon are always embarrass you know. When you, when you talk tough. And all them have to do a threaten to take one of the ties. And run and pack up a body man yard and drink tea and a sign peace treaty. It is not wise for living in a system where you have burn out plus a seek relevance, validation and approval from at the same time. That is like a post around him tail. You have to find the courage to be irrelevant. And this is the real challenge there. And in a irrelevance, the life won't think you truly a live there. I run out of time, you know, and I don't even touch the subject with the, with the MP for St. James. Your man, I push for mandatory DNA tests from birth. And even the government's handling of crime, etc. All <laughs> that again, Virgin, but I promise the first thing next episode, your man. But in closing, I want to say, fault cannot be the determining factor in who is righteous and who is not. Only acknowledgement and management of the evil that is apart of human, not Leela or Jada nature. In the end, it not go be where you say, where characterize your existence in or define you. But the way you do, how you do it, Romans 2, 6 say, he will repay each one according to his works, not his intentions. I'm here down the part. I'm here down the part. I'm here down the part. In the meantime, 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 in between time. Time in the meantime, in the meantime, in between time.